In 1971, a revolutionary race bike was created that would not only invigorate the Norton brand, but also set a benchmark for motorcycle design, thanks to the genius and engineering fortitude of its creator and rider. Norton's chief engineer and Grand Prix rider Peter Williams was given the funds by company chairman Dennis Poor to design and build a one-off open-class race bike based on their production 750cc Commando engine. The parallel twin-cylinder pushrod engine was outdated when compared to the thriving modern two-stroke machines. So Williams knew he had to raise the bar in terms of technical innovation. By 1973, he had created the revolutionary John Player Norton monocoque racing motorcycle. Williams concentrated on chassis design and aerodynamics. He created the world's first twin spar frame, with the bike's monocoque stainless steel chassis having been inspired by four-wheeled motorsport technology. In order to save weight, he built the 24-litre fuel tank and oil tanks into the frame itself and designed the world's first cast magnesium alloy wheels fitted with tubeless tyres. Then, with the use of a wind tunnel, Williams designed aerodynamic fairings which essentially enveloped the rider within the JPS Norton machine. Despite its outdated 76 brake horsepower air-cooled parallel twin engine, the bike's streamlined stance and dry weight of only 150 kilograms gave it the potential for Grand Prix racing success. In 1971, Peter had raced a prototype of the bike at the Crystal Palace circuit in the open class, securing a superb second place and showing the fastest race lap of 80.97 with Charlie Sandby. The shining moment came at the 1973 Isle of Man TT, when Williams rode to secure Norton's first victory for 12 years in an epic five-lap Formula 750 race. He set the second fastest TT lap ever at a staggering average speed of 107.27 miles an hour and a new race record in the process. There were only four JPS Norton monocoque bikes ever built, mostly due to the labour-intensive nature of hand-building such a complex frame, which took 12 weeks per machine. But in the sole 1973 season in which the bikes competed, it had silenced all doubters to succeed against the more powerful two-stroke competition and set the technological benchmark for racing motorcycles of the modern era.